Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming and we're back for another episode of Cafe Owner Simulator and in our last episode we ended up getting quite a bit of stuff and we leveled a couple times and we now have a waiter that serves the food which is really cool. Oh, I've got something that's out up here, let's fix that real quick. Okay, so... In our last episode, um, like I said, we accomplished a few things. We leveled a couple times. We got this. We now have a restroom that people can use instead of having to use the outhouses that were outside. Um, we have our two uh, shelves with, that we sell extra stuff with. We have a popcorn maker and an ice cream machine so we can do all this stuff. We have more people. We have more stoves, blah, blah, blah. We're pretty much getting down to the nitty-gritty money wise and so we have an opportunity right now to go and do a new uh renovation which will pay us some pretty good money and so before we do that i want to go to skills and we want to learn this one we can't because we don't have enough points and that's what we're going to do next because when we do these we'll get paid more money Anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and dismiss our staff. Before we do that, let's pay them up to maximum motivation. Because we want them to be motivated to do a good job. And then we're going to tell them to get off the job. Okay. Everybody's gone. We should be all set. We got all zeros across the top up there. Let's go ahead and it's going to give us five grand. Let's start this one. <clears throat> we'll be able to use that money to upgrade some of our stuff. The new stoves and add a fryer and a, a grill. Okay, so it says it should be a fast food cafe. We can follow the trash, restore anything that's broken, create an interior and decor that would be appropriate for a fast food place. Have a great day. Okay, so this is street side. Let's go ahead and start cleaning stuff up. Make some good money doing this. Plus our rake out Go all the way over here. Let's clean all these leaves up. And seeing how we have the rake out already, let's start doing the stuff in the yard as well. of all these leaves and whatnot that's a nice little patio back here now when we start doing the remodel it's going to tell us certain requirements of so many tables and so many you know so much of, of some things but we don't have to follow a guideline where we have to put things in a certain place. We can put things in any place we want in any sort of pattern, however we want to do it. So we need to keep that in mind when you're doing these. Not the trash. And we haven't even got inside yet. I bet it's really bad inside there. We also want to remember to watch for our cans with the, with the coins in them. It looks like we got all the trash out here. So I'm going to look in these planter boxes and make sure nobody's hidden one of the cans. With money in them. I don't see any yet. Okay, so we have this area as well. 
Nothing in there. There it is. Come to daddy. There you go. Let's make sure there's no more out here. There's another one. And I've never found more than two outside like that, so... Away from the building. So we're probably golden. Let's turn around and head back inside. Okay, finishing on the outside. We've got stuff that we need to repair. That tile's missing off the side of the building here. So we'll go ahead and we'll fix those. Check on the front here. We got some more here. Looks like we got some more trash here. We missed. Make this place all nice and clean looking and new. Make the customers want to come in here and spend money. And I think that's it for this. I don't remember seeing a ladder to get on the roof. And that's, there's a reason for that. So let's get our rake back out and let's collect all the leaves that are on the inside here. Now this place is kind of small. So it's going to be tricky to get everything in here that we want. But we will figure it out. Right. Let's get all this trash. Get the little paper cups. Wow, this place is pretty bad. Pretty dirty and the floors looks horrible. Pizza boxes, soda cans everywhere. But it goes pretty quickly. Once you kind of get the rhythm of it. Okay, so it looks like we got mostly everything down here. Let's go up here and see what we can find. No, we're not trying to do that yet. We're just trying to get the trash cleaned up first. It's trying to make us do repairs. Before I do any repairs, I like to make sure all the trash and everything is out. And then we can start our repairs. Like I said, I check each one of the railing balusters. Oops, <laughs> we fell through the roof. And of course we have these ones. Like I said, I like to check each and every one because you never know it may look okay. Shadow features or whatever may look it like it's okay, but it's broken. All right, so it looks like we got to, oh no, we got to go all the way around here. Oh. Lots of repairs. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix these so we can not fall through the floor.
Okay, so it looks like we got all these done. Let's go ahead and fix the door itself. Come on. I don't know why it's not catching these outside edges. Okay, so I think we got it all. Now we continue on with repairing these bellowsers. All right, let's open T. Cleaning's 91, repairs 99. So we're almost done with the repairs. It says cleaning is 91, so we missed something somewhere. So let's open up our store tab and let's go down to lamps. Let's get a light so we can actually see what the heck's going on in here. I don't see anything in there that needs to be cleaned. It must be something we missed outside. Like a pot. We missed something out in the yard here. There's another can. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot about this. I gotta clean all the mold off the walls. Okay, so there again, I can't see, so let's put some lights up. We can wait see what's going on. There's the mold. There we go, now the cleaning's all the way done. They've got 99% of the repairs done, so we're missing something on repairs. Maybe a window. Could be a piece of tile somewhere we missed. Looks pretty good to me. Or it's going to be like a stair rail baluster that's bad or something that we missed.
can't see it. Honestly, can't see it. But it's going to be something simple that we just... It's sort of missing. Look for mold. And sometimes this will happen. You get stuff that just make you crazy. This looks horrid, but it doesn't look broken anywhere. Almost lost trying to think out what it could be that we're missing. Oh. That's a hundred percent of the repairs. And think about the top of the stairwell. Okay. We have to do walls, ceilings, and floors. We'll do the ceilings first. Let's go into our store menu. Ceilings. I'm gonna use this cool little pattern that I like. is just a fast food restaurant by the way it doesn't have to be fancy adding in a little pattern on the ceiling is kind of cool I like it. Now we're going to do the walls. So let's go back into our tab. Look for walls. So, fast food mania. We'll go with this one. great thing about doing these it doesn't cost you or take away from you if you don't like something to replace it I think we're gonna replace these I kind of don't like that after all I think if we went with the more smaller brick it would look better yeah maybe not let's try doing something different this time no nope. not cool with that either we got to find something that's gonna be right by this. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. We'll do this. And then we need to do the floor.
not going to be too much with the wood. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's not going to work either. Let's see. We can do the floor that matches the ceiling. That may be too busy. I think that'll do. That's kind of nice. Let's see what we're going to do up here. I like this better. And it does look more outdoorsy. Because it has the, like, algae growing in between the bricks. So let's do this area here. We're going to change this to marble. I think for the ceiling, we're going to do. Basic like that. Let's do some wallpaper because it's in a bathroom. Let's find something fun. Eh, I don't like that. A lot of reflection coming off that. Oh yeah, I changed that by accident. Let's fix that. Okay, so we got this going on. We just gotta do the floor. We put down the tile, I mean, granite. Now that I'm looking at what we did, maybe we'll go with something different. Yeah, that looks bad. I 
and we're going to want to change this light. And that one's really bright too. It's such a small room. That's a list a little less intrusive and light rise. Okay. So we got all that done, we got all that done, we got the lamps done. Read tables, cash register, decor and entertainment. Tables, cash register, how many tables? Five. Okay, so why don't we start with putting some tables up here? Find those under the furniture section. Fast food restaurant. <clears throat> Maybe we could start off with, I don't know if that'll fit, it won't. And maybe that's a little too much. Well, that solved the table problem right there. We need a cash register. It means that we're not going to have any tables down here. We could do this. Is, is now we need to find some place to put our kitchen so maybe we should move this rotate this around nope that would put the catch register on the wrong side you could always put it out there a little more That way people come in, they pay their bill here. What do we have for decor? Put up a couple signs. Pictures. Food pictures.
that takes care of the decor. We need entertainment. I don't think this can come out here. Though. In fact, I'm sure of it. Let's do a video game. Easy peasy. And we need two tables, one oven, one fire, one grill, one refrigerator, two ventilation, two sinks, cabs and popcorn. Okay, so this has got to go. Because we'll never be able to fit all that in there with that. So let's go to this. Let's go to kitchen. Let's get, we need how many tables? They say four or two. Two tables. Let's rotate these around. They're facing the right way. One. One oven, one fryer, and one grill. One oven. Rotate that. Well, you know we're going to need the vent. And how many vents does it say? Two of them. So we're going to put one over these guys, which means we're going to need to move the picture. Let's go ahead and do that now. We didn't move it far enough. Okay. 
We need the refrigerator. We need sink, we need cabinets. I'm going to go with this type of cabinet. It only calls for one, but we're going to put one above each station. We need a popcorn maker and an ice cream maker. Popcorn maker. Fit in here? Yeah, well. Kind of blocks that doorway though. Maybe that's not such a good spot for that. Let's rotate it. Why don't we just put it right over here? Like that. Let's get an ice cream maker out. So if I look over on the right here, we got everything going except for the cash register. And the water closet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the cash register. We're going to need to do something like this for this to all work. Boom. Come in, go to the cash register, you do your thing, it's all good. <clears throat> the only thing we have left is water closet. Pull it. We haven't put the sinks down yet either. crowded in here. Oh, we moved the lamp. We can stuff that in the corner.
That's one of the sinks. Nope, it's not going to count it. Thought it might, but I guess not. In that case, put a blower on the wall right here. Let's put some soap dispenser up over here. There we go. All right, so we need two sinks. It's gonna be tough. Cause this place is small. We need a second sink. I can't squeeze it in right there. Now we have everything that was on the list. It's 100%, 100%, and 100% across the top. So we're gonna hit C. Yeah, pay us. We got fifty-five hundred, and that finishes our second renovation that we've done in the game. Those are like mini games that go with this. They provide a great bit of money to help you upgrade stuff which we're going to do right now I'm going to get the good stoves or the better stoves anyway get these square Again, maybe or maybe not. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. We can plug this one in. Let's move this one over there for right now. Let's get this back in here and let's move this thing again. Okay, so we got those plugged in. We got the two good fridges. Now it's time to upgrade these. We're going to get the good tables. That helps them work faster. Faster work means better money. What is the issue here? 
let's go ahead and sell all these so we can make the room because we're going to have to adjust all these. All right. Rotate this around. Hopefully this is still going to work. That sink might be the issue. Nope, it ain't the sink. I don't understand. This should go closer to the wall without a problem. All right, so we're going to move this somewhere else. We'll have to figure that out later. Get our tables in here for now. I think we're going to put them over here. One over here like this. No, can't do that. That'll screw us up. Now it's letting me put it closer to the wall. Okay, so now we have our new tables in. Got 10 bucks says we can fit that sink back there now. I don't get that. Why is it creating a problem? There's no... Good fit in here. That it's not is something's up with that. Hey, what we'll do? Ooh, the fridge over here. Grab the plug and move it as well. We can't tuck that down in there. Right <clears throat> now, we can put the sink right there. Doesn't look square. Yeah, it does. All right, and so we want to get a grill. that grill is going to be able to fit in there. Okay, so we got the grill in. It's going to need a vent. We're also going to want a fryer and figuring out where we're going to be able to put that fryer is going to be the issue. We're kind of running out of room. Let's do this. Let's move this. Rotate it like this. That's pretty square. Let's put this over here. Come on.
There we go. Both of these need outlets. We gotta figure this out better. Are we going to be able to slip that fryer in here? We'll have to grow. We don't want another one. This is what we want.
That's better. There we go. All right, now we're all modernized and weaponized and just about ready to go. We got bills, let's pay those, of course. And leave us with almost 4,500. Let's take a look in the freezer, see what this looks like. It's looking kind of empty, so we're gonna have to spend some money to get that going. Let's see. There's one more item that we need to get. Let me shut these people up. Why this thing won't allow me to put this right here beyond me? This should be green. It's not interfering with anything. Yep, we can't put it there neither. And look at that. I keep saying we don't have any entertainment. Now oh, come on. Okay, so now we have entertainment. All right, let's look at the menu. Let's look at the groceries. Let's see. Look at the menu real quick. Let's add. A $19 burger. French fries. And some chicken meat nuggets. All right, so we expanded the menu. Let's see if we can't. Oh, one other thing we're going to want to get.
Let's look in here and see if there's something we're missing. We want to get ourselves a soda pop machine that we're going to put out here and make some money from. Now for some reason we don't have to plug this thing in. We gotta buy soda pop. Alright, so let's go to the food store. Go to the bottom. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's put the sodas in. Not enough space, hang on. Okay, ten ten. We don't have any of the blue cow. That's just poop, my friends. Poop. Is what it is. Until we sell some stuff, we won't be able to put this in there. So what I do is I stow these in here. I just drop them like that. Now, putting soda pop normally in a freezer would be a stupid idea because they could explode when they freeze. But in this game, I don't believe they wrote a code for that, so... I don't have any way of stowing these other way any other way. So I just drop them in here. And that way they're out of sight and out of mind. And then once we get through these boxes, I'll only order soda as needed. We gotta leave that open. And we're going back to the store. And now we're going to go up here and we're going to see what we got. We're going to have some new stuff we're going to need to purchase. Like these. Probably should get another cheese. It looks low. We need french fries. We need the nuggets. I'm going to have to see where we're at after we put this stuff on the shelf. We have enough room to get some more stuff. Which we probably will. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we have some room in here still. Let's fix this thing.
back to the store real quick. There's a couple of items that kind of look like this one and this one. Those look kind of low. I think we'll make it through with what we got. These people sorted out. Okay. <clears throat> Let everybody in. Let's go ahead and hit open. And let's hope we can make some money. I didn't look at the trash. What's the trash look like? It's 34%. Let's go ahead and order that right now. By the time we have trash. The trash guy should be finished. We need some big money. He's about done. We have our first order. Give our cat some love. Come on. About time. I saw the other one running up here. Where'd he go? There's the drunk. Let's run him off. Hey, looks like everything looks okay. guy shows up so far so good Level nine. Oh, what did we get? He 
since we're starting to get some good customers. Now we're back up to AK. I don't know how close we are to being able to unlock this. And I think it's on progression. Now, currently, here comes the repair or the fire chief. We got to make sure everything looks right. I don't see no problems, so we should be fine. Gonna sweep that. Look, our shells are getting are selling stuff. That emptied. Going smooth. And we sold any of these yet? We might be able to squeeze that blue cow in there now. Let's go see. Hey, lock me in the closet. Making money. Now currently there is a level 10 cap on on leveling. So once you hit level 10, you get a little reef around the 10, and that's as high as it goes. But the game continues and the um Skill points continue, and so do, does the challenges or the tasks. Those all continue, as well as doing renovations. Those all continue. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> we got something dirty somewhere. Got to be outside.
Still making money. I'd like to hit that 9,000. Baby, come on, 9,000. We got a dirt somewhere. Oh, it's right there. I'm going to get those stars up to four stars. Down to six. These gotta get down to totally a total of ten, and when they get down to a total of ten, then we'll be able to do that. the rain that's gonna mean puddles we're almost to the 9,000 a couple more customers and we should hit it the 9,000. We'll close the restaurant, serve what's left. We'll actually leave it open long enough to get this to 50% so we can empty it. place the smoke alarms now. Maybe it'll keep going bad if I don't. Once we get the restaurant closed, we'll do that. We'll just replace all the smoke detectors.
Right. As you can see, we're almost halfway through level nine. We'll be at level 10 before you know it, which will unlock that door. Pretty sure. Okay, he's the last customer. Nope, there's a couple out here still. Nope, oh, he's the last customer. Place all these smoke detectors. these guys straightened out and then kick them out Got the money. I think we should finish the ceiling. So I think that's going to end it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. For people that haven't played the game, maybe learn something. Like I said, the game's on Steam. It's it's fairly inexpensive, and it's it's kind of fun. You might want to consider checking it out. I used to have a restaurant, and my staff used to feed the bums from our neighborhood, but then I lost it all, believe it or not. Now I have become a bum myself. It's my birthday soon. Just remember that this month. I want to invite my friends, Marco, John, and Dennis. We want to buy vodka and delicious appetizers and set a table. Help set the table, my dear friend. Get out of here.
that nonsense. She wants to have a booze party in my restaurant. Nah, I don't think so. All right. How do we do on the sodas? Can we load up the other yet? Okay, so 19, 18, 18. Let's give it a try. I think we might be close. There we go. Now we got it rolling. Okay. So, I'm crazy with crazy gaming. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can get notifications when we drop our next videos. And hit the like button. That really helps us out. If you got any comments or suggestions or questions, don't hesitate. Leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. This is Crazy with Crazy Gaming, and we'll see you the next time. Bye for now.